slaughter. The last time I went to Jamaica as a child, they slaughtered a goat in celebration, tied it up between two trees, its four legs nailed to wood with rope, its underbelly was furry white like Donne trainer socks. It was breathing. Ribs visibly moving up, down, my mum. My mum says butterflies are just glorified moths. This goat is humanly bound, an animal Jesus reminding us that he is but a glorified lamb. I do not remember who did the slaughtering, but my granduncle, a Peter, was asked three times if the blade was sharp. He affirmed. They hacked at a living thing's neck, swinging hard to silence the wailing. I will never forget how long it took the goat to die. The life is in the blood, and my lord, there was so much of it. I still ate its meat. Why waste the pain? Sacrifice. The last time I saw my love, my tongue slaughtered her throat in mourning. We hoped I would see God again after this sacrifice that he might delight himself in this offering of ended love. Imagine his despair as I forget the 40th Psalm. His face twisted in pain as I kiss her with a blunt tongue. I should have known my words were no holy offering when the sheets didn't blotch crimson where our hands and feet were. Now when we speak, it is like hacking. Our love bleeds profusely, and my Lord, there is so much of it. The life of love is in the blood. I am trying to stitch its neck, hoping there's enough life left for a dead 